Okay, today is... What is today? The 20th of May, 2020. 7.30 in the morning. And I'm making another video because a lady who used to be stationed here with her husband was asking me about uh, a housing area out this way. And just to give you a bearing, I'm heading east towards um, the East Garrison. And the reason I wanted to make a video, I wanted to compare the housing from when I grew up here. Um, the housing that I lived in was Marshall Park. We were there in 73, I think it was. And then later in the early to mid 80s, they built additional housing in a different area, and that's the area where this lady lived with her husband. And one of the things she mentioned was parks. That her and her husband, or her and her children, I'm not sure, I don't remember if she said, would walk to the park from their housing. And that's something I wanted to cover that's different about how families that I, a family that I grew up in and the family she grew, grew up with, with her kids, and, or her husband, or whatever. Anyway, um, Marshall Park, Stillwell Park, Hayes, uh, and Patton Park, I don't recall as a kid there being any parks. And so when I say Marshall Park, that's what they called the housing tract if you came here at a later time and you don't, maybe not know that. But when I say parks, I'm talking about par uh, the other par park, it's parks for the kids to play at, the bicycle at, the, the, um, have baseball games, soccer games, you know, the leisure time with your family. Anyway, um, I don't recall there being any parks built specifically for the families. As you can see, all around there are woods. And when the housing was built, uh, that we lived in um, Those different areas were built in the 40s and I believe 60s and So the main purpose of the housing was just that a place for housing a Place for you to live a place for you to eat a shelter The military wasn't gonna spend extra money for parks, but <laughs> uh, being a kid what they did do is they left plenty of these wooded areas and if uh, I don't know, we didn't have video games back then so that was our park we got our bicycles we went down these trails uh, we walked down the trails we you know there's no bodies of water on Fort Ord that I can recall so there would not have been would not have been a lot of frogs or fish but there was plenty of places for us to go play, make a fort, play soldier, play cowboys and Indians or whatever. And then, of course, in the 80s, they put in the, the parks. Uh, they put in community centers. Actually, we, did we have community center? I don't remember a community center either. So maybe they weren't even community centers for us, but they did put in the community centers later. Now, the military did have a pool. They did have a bowling alley. So there were activities for the parents to go to, for young soldiers to go to, uh, families to take their kids to, and uh, things like that. Anyway, that was one of the things I wanted to, wanted to cover. And now we'll go here and take a look at the housing that she was talking about. If you continue on this road where that stop sign is, you end up in East Garrison, which is now um, a civilian housing. Uh, they've built houses for brand new, really nice looking houses. I think there might even be apartments down there or condos or something. I don't, I don't, I've only been there once. And uh, I suppose if somebody were to ask for a video, I might make a video down there. Anyways, this is the housing that was built in the 80s. Uh, this is uh, Abrams Road. I think it was the name of the road here. And I'm not going to go down every road, of course. But I will go down the major roads. Uh, this one is Frederick.
Manassas is the name of the road. Can't really see the houses, so I'll get a better look up here and then uh, show you the housing. As you can see, there's a park right there for the residents to use. Um, this housing is now used as part of the campus and so families that uh, are going to school here would live in this housing. Uh, if you see my other videos, I'm not gonna go down Peters, Petersburg, there's no need to, it's same type housing. Anyways, um, if you've seen my other videos, I've shown you videos of the uh, the barracks slash, uh, what do they call it, dorms. And here's Gettysburg. Again, same type of housing, duplexes. So these are all civilians that are going to school at the university. As far as I know, I don't think they have anything else. There's a laundromat there. And then um, across from us, I think that's Schoonover. We'll go up here and take the road that uh, enters that area. Yeah, it's going over. So again, even over here, they still called them parks instead of housing tract or housing area. There's Eddie Court. Now these ones are a fourplex it looks like. I think the other ones over there were only duplexes. And why the military decided to change, I have no idea. There's white. Again, a park area where you could play soccer. There might be even a, a, a there might be a, a baseball diamond up there. I'm not sure. Whirlman, and that's one I didn't see. Went by too quick. The sign was facing the wrong direction. And again, there's a, 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 a jungle gym over there. Henson. There's what looks like is probably a, a tennis area. Sherman. Uh, Hovis. I'm naming the roads in case, Scott, in case uh, you lived here and you might remember the name of the road. Jackson. And don't know if you can see it in the video there, but there's also walking paths in here. In fact, oh, here we go. You can see it here. So that the kids can get to and from school, get to and from the parks. Parents can keep fit like this man is here with his baby. <laughs> Devers. Devers. Wainwright. Now, if I recall correctly... We're going to end up back on the same road we came in on. I haven't been over here in years. And then Patch. And yes, this is Inner Garrison Road. This is the road that, that if you continue on, Will eventually take you to East Garrison. I'm going to go up here and make a U-turn because I want to go to the other section of housing. The 
foot orders left all these areas and trails open for people uh, to, to recreate on. As you can see there, those guys are biking, it looks like. And again, that goes down to East Garrison. So we're going to turn back into this housing area so I can take you across the road to the other housing area. You know, anyways, what got me thinking about these, the parks is not only that the lady asked me about it, but also I'm in my 50s now, mid 50s. And in my time, it was very common for the men to work and the women to stay home barefoot and pregnant, as they used to say. And, um,. Of course, at one time that was accepted as the thing that you did. There were three kids in my family, and as we got older, when, when we hit, I think it was in junior high, my mother started going to school. Actually, yeah, she started working first uh, when we were probably fifth or sixth grade. I don't remember exactly when, sometime in that, era, that time frame, so that myself and my other sister uh, were able to be old enough to watch over our youngest. So we would come home from school. There would be nobody home because my mother would be at work. My dad, of course, would be at work. He was in the Army. And my mother worked at a place in Monterey at that time. And then by the time we reached... Uh, and then she would arrive home shortly after we got home. We were only home alone probably an hour or two. And then by the time we reached junior high, though... She started going to night school, got her education, and then was able to get better paying jobs. And in that time, she, uh, after she uh, finished her schooling, or even I think during her schooling, she was able to get a job working for the government as a GS employee. And she did that for the remainder of my school years, and then eventually retired from that. But my mother worked not because she had to, but just because she wanted to. My dad, being in the army, and you know, if anybody who's in the military knows, military does not pay well. You don't join the military for the pay. You join, you join the military for the adventure. You join it for a life skill, uh, uh, maybe for for because for, for, you got no way out of the slum. Maybe, maybe you're want to uh, serve, whatever the reason is that people go into the military, you, nobody goes in the military for the money. <laughs> uh, uh, did I turn the wrong way? Because that says F Frederick. No, that's the right way. Anyway, um, I forgot where I was going. Oh, about people working. So, anyways, my mother worked uh, because she like said she wanted to wanted something to do. Since the, us the kids had gotten big enough, we could take care of ourselves. Nowadays, though, it's very common for the mothers to work either because they're a single parent or because they have to to supply food, put food on the table, pay the rent, because our economy has become so expensive that one income is not enough, and I suspect that's part of the reason why the military started putting in those parks, um, to give the families, when they did have leisure time, to be, uh, they had uh, the ability to be together and do something where they could, one, have exercise, two, uh, a safe environment for the families to go, uh, and three, even when both parents are working with the park inside the housing area, the kids had something to do in those one, two, or three hours, hopefully that they were alone, and their mother or father would know that they were safe 
because there were other military families around that could be watching over them. Anyways, this is Preston Park. And I'm not going to go down there because that eventually... Uh, actually, it's called... That section right there is Abrams Park. Um, the section here to the right is what's Pr uh, Preston Park. Um, and all of these areas are all... Um, civilian. Um, as far as I know, this has nothing to do with the university. Oh, look, it looks like they took out a bunch of housing over here. There used to be more housing down that road over there. Oh, this, the housing's still there. They're just not using it anymore. I can just barely see it through the trees. And there. And again, see, there's when they built this house and they put in plenty of a place for people to walk um, I think there used to be a park right there oh that road was open over there oh wow look at this these are all new houses <laughs> I didn't know these were over here this is all brand new housing and this looks like, what road am I on? West Abrams. This looks very much like some of the housing that they have for the military, but as far as I know, this is all civilian. I'll have to ask my dad. He would know more. Uh, my dad, my parents have lived here, of course, since I since I lived here. But I went out, moved away, and came back. Oh, I know where I am now. There's M. Jim. I didn't know this went through all the way through. This is that's M. Jim. What used to be called M. Jim Park, uh, M. Jim Road. It's now M. Jim Parkway. So the, yeah, this part I do know for certain over here is civilian. But the that first section back there looks very similar to the military housing. So they may be housing military over here in this portion, but I don't know. You can see the difference how these houses look. Let me go around this roundabout here. And see they make a definite change right here. And that's the same um, the same um, number that they put on the military housing that lighted box with the number on it but it just could be a coincidence and maybe just like that style because again those back there look I don't know I don't know and the way this park is here is all they probably just use the same builder. Maybe that's it. Oh, in fact, I can see a for a sale house. So this is obviously civilian housing over here. I was mistaken. This could not be military housing because the military is not going to sell their housing. But for whatever reason, they made it look almost exactly like the other part of town where their uh, where their um, military housing is. Anyway, back over here to Preston Park. These roundabouts weren't here when the, the Army owned this section. Marina has taken over, the city of Marina has taken over, and they've, they love roundabouts. Anyway, so I'm going to take uh, Preston Park here, 
and we're going to come out on Imjim Parkway. If you've watched my videos, you know that uh, I sometimes start sentences and then get di di diverted and don't finish my sentences. So hopefully I finished all my sentences uh, <laughs> and my comments this time because of my surprise. I definitely might have uh, left you wondering about what I was going to say. Horn Court. And I'm going to go up here if I can. That one is Wall Court. Let's see if we can't get a view of the park area. No, it's too high. But anyways, you can see there's a uh, an area for probably concessions, for there to be a scoreboard, um, an announcer. This is how things have changed from the housing that was built in the 40s and the 60s. And just to get a better look, I'll turn down one of these roads. This one is Brown Court. So you get a nice look at what the this type of housing looked like. Where the road was closed back there, at one time, there was a section I th that they were using for military uh, veterans that had substance abuse, whether it was alcohol or drugs, and they would house them there while they went through some type of program. Since that next section, uh, the road is closed, uh, and I, I didn't get close enough to see if that because I did see there was another road that was still open They may or may not still have that program going on back there um, If they've moved it I have no idea where it's been moved to back on Preston Drive and that signal light in the distance there is um, M. Jim Parkway now which used to be just M. Jim Road turn to the left would take you to Reservation Road and then you could cross over it to go to Fritzy Airfield to the right would take you back onto the post heading towards uh, 12th Street Gate And that's the end of the video. There's no more housing. So if you do have any questions, any area you'd like me to get, um, I've got time because of the pandemic. <laughs> not doing, not doing anything. Um, so um, yeah, if, if there's an area you'd like me to to video, if I have the time, which right now, like I said, I do, let me know and I'll try to take care of it.